James Lunnis, thank you for joining me at my tasting table today. I do appreciate it. This wine is next. It is called Gaia. This is a 2020 vintage Rosé Pinot Noir from Argentina. Stay tuned and I'll tell you about this beautiful wine. Now this producer has Pinot Noir in Gualatalari Valley, and uh, it's a fantastic wine. So think about the elevation here, 100% Pinot Noir on this rosé. It's uh, 4,000 feet above sea level, which is about 1,200 meters above sea level, 13% ABV, and it's a really beautiful, gorgeous wine and something that I definitely look forward to Pinot Noir Rosé. So here we go. I think the silhouette's absolutely beautiful. Uh, clear bottle, I think it's a nice uh, presentation. I love the package itself, it's a very sturdy bottle. And uh, so here's the uh, front label and here's a back label for you to look at. This is a vegan wine, by the way, save this bottle. You know, after you're done, you can actually wash this out in your dishwasher and use it as a water bottle to serve for dinners at your tasting table. Now this has an ECHO cert certification. That certification is really thinking about the planet and sustainability and so forth. So when I think about sustainability, I even charge myself with saving wine bottles. Uh, not every wine bottle, of course, but those that I think are really significant like this bottle. Vinification of this wine is a full cluster press to maximize aroma extraction followed by a five day cold maceration at six degrees centigrade, which is about 42.8 degrees Fahrenheit. Fermentation at a maximum temperature of 13 degrees centigrade, which is about 55.4 degrees Fahrenheit for 30 days. So the nose is presenting with notes of midsummer floral notation as well as field strawberry and uh, strawberry preserves actually is almost, you know, just very, very evocative and it just definitely signifies a uh, very strawberry-esque characterization as well as moistened minerals. And then next is the palate characterization. So very fresh, clean wine, a very nice palate of strawberry. And it's almost like you, you definitely taste the strawberry, but it's also more complex because of the dried citrus characterization, mineral notation, and hint of fennel. So this wine is 92 points out of 100 points. So thank you for watching. Questions and comments down below, please list them. More information on the producer will be listed. Again, a vegan wine, Echo Cert certification. Thank you for watching. I will see you soon. And share this video, give a like to this video, and uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Thank you again. I will see you very soon. Sante.